can you explain the difference between cross-dressing and trans? Well, yeah, this is still emerging, by the way, this is still an unexact yeah. science. And I'm actually my third book, I'm going to kind of delve into that as well, because it'll be the third in the living cross-dressing series. What, how I see it and how I've researched it is that cross-dressing is not a gender. Cross-dressing mm -hmm. is an art form. It is a way to present yourself and how you get from point A to point B, whether it's male, female, female to male, something androgynous in between, or however you want to you know, scope that line between the masculine and feminine. It's just the way you present yourself. It's the way you express yourself. So what I am trying to explain to people is that I'm dual gender, or you could be gender queer, gender fluid, bi-gender. Those are genders. But when I talk about cross-dressing, I've accepted that label as myself, but it's not my gender. My gender mm -hmm. is part of the trans umbrella, the greater trans umbrella. The problem I think we run into is sometimes there is a overarching transgender umbrella. And then within that umbrella, there's all of us. And what happens is there's also a subset of transitioning folks that are also transgender. So sometimes the lines get very muddy in terms of the self-labeling for yourself versus the culture and the community at large. So yeah. because they both share the same word, uh, you call yourself a cross-dresser, all of a sudden you're, you're way over here on the left side, almost in the rain, because you're not accepted as trans. But in reality, we're all trans. We're all yeah. operating across genders. So anything that's operating across genders is trans.